Under the Gold Dome to protect Georgia's 10 historically black colleges. Atlanta News First reporter Abby Kosouris has more. Campus improvement projects like workforce development centers, broadband expansion, and even basic projects like paving sidewalks. The bill's sponsor says in the four years since she served here at the state capitol, she doesn't remember a single bill supporting HBCUs. Augusta, Savannah, Fort Valley, Atlanta, and Albany, all home to HBCUs. Every single one of our HBCUs, no matter where it is in the state, is sitting in an underinvested community. Senator Sonia Halpern chaired a Senate study committee over the summer, investigating the underinvestment. <laughs> Fort Valley State University is a land grant university. Under federal law, the state is obligated to provide equitable funding. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona wrote a letter to the governor saying the state owes them more than $600 million. It's never too early or too late to do something. Senator Halpern's bill, Senate Bill 235, would create community improvement districts around these schools and a commission to look for federal grant money. We know that there are other dollars that can be unlocked and other resources that can be unlocked through the definition of a district. Like tax credits for housing developers or businesses looking to partner with schools. The bill passing in the Senate with a few dissenting votes, now it faces a vote here in the House. Senator Halpern is hoping to have some good news to deliver at HBCU Heritage Day next week. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Kosouris.